Hey guys, um, today we or I make a video for you. I do on request by Quan Amplify. He asked me to make a video about a smoothing modifier. He asked me yesterday, and I want to do this tutorial for you today. That's what we do today. That's a tutorial, tutorial about smoothing modifier and also about how you can use multiple clothing, for example, on one figure. I will show you what I mean with it. Let's dive into DS Test Studio. And um, I prepared a scene for you, normal Genesis 3 female to lose hair and the other dress. First I want to show you that the Genesis 3 female um, has no uh, smoothing fire, uh, smoothing, sorry, um, smoothing modifier on on her. Uh, it's on default. Here you can see a mesh resolution. There's nothing, so we add one. We don't need it for clothing, but I want to show you how this modifier works. So we go to edit figure geometry apply smoothing modifier. Figure geometry applies smoothing modifier. That's what we do now. So, and here it is under mesh resolution. We have now the mesh smoothing, and um, I will show you how it works a little bit. Let's go to her elbow. And this and bend it a little more, a bit more, something like this. So we concentrate first on this area here where the smoothing modifier. So here it is. Um, and if the smoothing is on and we turn it off before so that you can see the difference. Um, here you can see it's a elbow, it's a little bit uh, it's a hard edge kind of. And um, with the smoothing modifier it it's a little bit rounder here and the more you can see while I uh, raise the smoothing iterations you can see it gets rounder and rounder each time I raise it and this is what is the smoothing fire does for you he smooths the mesh he finds and tries to um, yeah, smooth it out where it has some hard edges. You can try different things. You can try if it works, if something works not for you, the generic smoothing type, but usually it's the base shape matching that works in our most mostly in our in our scenes we work on. Okay, so Genesis 3 Fumi by default has no smoothing modifier, but Maybe you don't never need it. It's no problem. Uh, mainly you need it uh, on on clothing when you want to dress up the figure, and you have either a, a figure that fits not to the to the clothing, or you want to match um, multiple clothing to your figure. I will show you what I mean with this. So we have here the Genesis 3 female with the Ava dress. That's a black one, it's really nice. And I want to show you what happens if we clothe the Sunday shirt on top. So now we have here the shirt and the Ava dress. This is the situation you normally have and you, you all know the situation where you have all those poke shoes. So to um, get rid of it, you need the shirt to smooth out because it's on top of the Ava dress. So the shirt needs the uh, mesh smoothing and it has it already. So what happens when I um, direct only enable the smoothing, you can see all those uh, holes here. When I turn it on, it's a bit better. Uh, so and it's by default it's generic. And it Base shape matching, that's a bit better. And we use some 
iterations, can turn on and turn active. Oh, five, so it's a bit better, but it doesn't get much better because of the collision item is a Genesis 3 female. And we don't want that because the Ava address is a collision item. This was intersect, the, the shirt is intersect by the Ava address, so not by the female figure. So here we need to pick the Ava address as collision item. It's very important. Now you can see much better. It's almost gone, everything. Yeah. So, and um, that's what happens when you change the collusion item. Yeah. We have it here. So, there are some small poke through. That is something you could do with Photoshop. But you, also, if you don't want to use Photoshop or you don't want to make per, um, post work, go into the shirts and parameters all tab and look what what um, settings it has so for example if you can widen all by just a tiny tiny amount it usually gets better also the if you have the collusion iteration styled up too much like i did here uh, gets even worse so the collusion collusion iterations are not always perfect when you dial them up. So sometimes it's better to, to lower them again. So, for example, you see here, I will dial the, up to six again, and you see here this black hole. We think collusion iteration, okay, the higher it is, the better it should get. No. Um, all the time work with the collision iterations of three before you start anything smoothing. Then raise the amount of smoothing iterations. That will help in a lot of cases. Now you can see the black thing here. Again, if you dial it up too much. So you have to find your best setting for it. And if it don't get further, so you have a small box through here still. Um, it's also no problem. If you have a un, under the shirt, if you have something um, that has an own material zone, like the other dress the top has it, where you can see the top, I will dial it out the shirt. So the top here has an own um, material zone. Now get back shirt in. So here the, is the top, a what dress, the top only the cutout opacity. Take it off. Turn down the cutout opacity of the AVA dress to zero and there will be no more poke throughs because the shirt isn't there anymore. The blue spots here seem to be from the texture of the shirt. So now it's perfect. Yeah, you have two closes mixed together and uh, looks perfect. Here you can see two minor small poke roots here and here that is something you don't see if you make a front picture and it's also something you can um, edit with photoshop or the gimp um, if you use it in post work it's no problem so this is almost perfect it's a smooth modifier can help a lot a lot a lot um, but it's not perfect for any case for every case for each and every case but it will help you out in most situations, I think. So I only use it on, on clothing. I don't use it on my figures. And um, as you can see, now it's how it, how we want to have it. And um, yeah, that's for the moment all, at least the, the easiest stuff about smoothing modifier, I have to tell. And I hope it helps you out in some or a lot of your cases when it comes to clothing, different styles, different clothing on your figure. And um, if something you dial in has no smoothing modifier, you can apply it uh, simple with edit, even if an object or a figure, but in usually it's uh, the object, the clothing is we take as an object go to geometry and apply the smoothing fire from here if it's not for the figure. 
yeah, if it's for the shirt, if it's for a dress, shoes, whatever, um, use the object geometry modifier. Yeah, okay, guys, that was all. It was a short video, but um, I think sometimes short is better. And I hope it helps you out. And have a great week. Bye bye.